Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and today we're gonna do the pull-ups on the window chair. So this exercise is probably the exercise that got me to be like, Pilates is amazing on all the equipment because I was such a mat obsessed person. And then um, I did this and it just made me feel like a total gymnast. And so um, typically it's done on one top, one bottom spring, but as you advance in your practice, you can go to one middle, one bottom, two bottom, one top, no springs. Um, if you are shorter than me, lighter than me, you may already wanna start with one middle, one bottom right? And, um, it really does help teach you some of the concepts you need to know. So that's the thing about the one, a chair. It's not here just to like be a wow factor party trick. It really is to help you learn like how much you have to reach through your arms from your back, how much you have to reach from your back through your legs and how much your center has to lift to even just make the pedal maybe elevate a little bit, which by the way, if your pedal doesn't move, please don't be obsessed with it. Don't change the shape of your body to make the pedal move. Okay. So let's talk about it. Um, you place your hands on the back of the chair, the very, very edge. You place your feet on the pedal. You bring your heels together, toes apart. You're going to bring your shoulders over your wrists. Everybody wants to lean forward and see if I lean forward past my hands, the pedal lifts and it took no muscle uh, action from me whatsoever. So I hug my heels. They're not as lifted as they could be. I reach my tailbone down from my heels. I stand in my arms and I lift my center up and I try not to lean past my wrists. And if I do, I just try to pull my chest towards my legs so that I can correct it on every single rep. And as I go down, I'm not riding the spring down. I'm actually lifting my low ribs to push the pedal down. Then I lift my low ribs and stand in my legs. And as I go down, I push into my arms more. And as I go up, I push into my legs more. And I just keep lifting the center as I go up and down. And then, you know, you could go practice your teaser, your roll up on the mat, your elephant on the reformer, your upstretch on the reformer. This action has to stay. You never want the booty to tilt out. Um, if you want to make it harder, you just make the springs lighter. You can make it super hard by getting rid of the spring and you can do it with one leg. And I have a video for that on another, um, I have another video for that. So if you need it, let me know, but it's in the one to chair playlist. It's called single leg pull up. And it really is going to make everything else you're doing in your Pilates practice, like what we do on our reformer and mat classes on online pilatesclasses.com better. So it's just here to teach you, to challenge you. And then that way, when you do your bread and butter exercises, you're like, Oh, it's like, it's like that pull up when I reach forward with my arms, I'm pulling back in my waist. Same thing. So let me know how that feels in your body. Tell me about it in the comments below. If you have any questions, that's what the comments are for. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you for sharing these videos and tagging me in your Pilates wins. I really, really enjoy seeing you grow and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Meredith and I'm one of the people creating online PilatesClasses.com. One of the things that I love most about this project is that we're building the very first free online catalog of Pilates exercise how-to videos. We release three new videos each week. People often leave comments asking Leslie to explain a specific exercise, and you can do that too. And if you love watching these videos and believe in the project of creating this catalog, you can support it by joining Leslie every week in her online mat and reformer classes. Just go to onlinepilatesclasses.com slash subscribe.